It's been a while since we had any kind of Mortal Kombat 2 movie sequel updates, other than announcing the official release date by Warner Brothers that the film will be in theaters by October 24th, 2025. However, today it looks like we got some new information by some early viewers. Before I begin this video, keep in mind this will be a slight spoiler video, so if you want to continue, let's get started. Otherwise, you might want to return back to the portals where it's safe. Thanks to Twitter or X user Physical Media, the link to their Twitter profile and tweet will be in the description below, but according to this user and take it all with a grain of salt because everyone has their own opinions, yet based on the early screen testing for the new upcoming Mortal Kombat sequel, there's some notes that were taken and from the looks of it, it seems a little bit troublesome. When looking at the tweet, it shares that there's a lot of deaths, which is to no surprise because Mortal Kombat is known for deaths and then returning for whatever reason so no one really dies in the franchise. To an extent. But if Kung Lao died in the first film and returns for the second, then we know what to expect moving forward. Second, it's a Johnny Cage slash Katana movie. Since we know the movie will focus on how Shao Kahn adopted Katana and heavily focusing on the origins and so on, I guess this is a good thing since Outworld and Adenya needs more in-depth storytelling. However, also sharing that her acting was amazing, which is a good upside so I'm pretty excited about that. As for Johnny Cage, we also know that Cole Young will be in search for him, so I expect a lot of jokes and humor, and like I mentioned in a previous video, I was worried they'd focus too much on this character because it states a lot of the other characters are sidelined. And this is alarming because there's already a lot of characters in this film and to fit all of them in a probably two hour film is going to be tricky, especially with all the loopholes and underdeveloped character storytelling from the first film. But aside from Carl Urban seeming a little bit too old for the part, the upside is there's a lot of great fighting scenes as promised by Todd Garner and a lot of gore to give that fan service we craved. Other than that, we're still a long way from the movie being released and I'll be sure to have more updates and thoughts as time goes on. So with that said, let me know in the comments below what you think about this screen testing information and give a like and subscribe for more updates.